Hello Flamingo lovers, how are you guys doing today? I am super excited for this video because we're going to be trying an eyeshadow palette from Sugar Drizzle. They actually sent over this palette. It is their MILF palette, which stands for Man I Love Frogs. It's a super cute frog themed eyeshadow palette. It's all shimmer, so we'll probably pull into something else for the mattes, but I thought we could go ahead and give this brand a try because the shadows look super special. So here's a little close up of the outside packaging, and then here's what the palette looks like on the inside super super pretty colors if you are new to my channel I'm so happy to have you here my name is Amy and I do a ton of content around independently owned makeup brands just like sugar drizzle and so many others so if you'd like to see more content like this you want to see more from smaller brands don't forget to hit that subscribe button now let's go ahead and jump on in let's start off with some swatches because I'm dying to swatch this palette the first shade we have is frog life which feels super, super creamy. So we've got like a purple kind of duochrome with like a grungy green shift to it. Definitely an interesting color. We've got Ribbit, which looks so beautiful. Such a pretty iridescent purple green duochrome. Super, super shiny. We've got Hop Along, which this one looks like, yeah, it feels like a like foiled multi-chrome. It's super, super creamy. I mean, look at that shift. So beautiful. That's like the Northern Lights kind of multi-chrome. Okay. I will definitely do some up-close swatches with my phone when we're done going through doing one by one. Um, just so that you guys can see the shifts a little bit better. We have the shade Crokey, which looks like a super intense purple blue. Super pretty. We have Fly Swatter which looks like a purple, blue, green duochrome, or multi-chrome technically. That is such a stunning shade, my goodness. We've got Pond, which is a light blue, very sparkly shade with like a little bit of a periwinkle shift to it. I mean, y'all, these are so beautiful. I was not expecting that. Like they just swatched so pretty. Next we have the shade Leap, which is kind of, oh wait, you guys, I just realized, did I miss Tadpole? I think I, I think I missed this shade. Okay, so we've got Leap right here, which is a beautiful, super chunky, kind of pinky, light blue shift. We've got Tadpole, which I missed, but it is another really pretty kind of purple, green, shifty shadow. And then next we have the shade MILF, which this one feels like another multi-chrome. It feels super creamy and slick, and it's got more of just like a bright green, blue, black kind of shift. I can't believe I almost missed a color. I was like, is my counting wrong? Like, what is going on? Okay. Lastly, we've got Lily Pad, which is like a really pretty, like aquamarine, bluey green. We've got Feeling Froggy which that one is the only shadow so far that feels a little bit different. That one's kind of more of a satin, just like a light iridescent green, doesn't have as much going on. And then we've got Camouflage, which is kind of just an iridescent white with like a little bit of a green shift to it. I mean, that is such a beautiful color story. I mean, obviously it is all shimmers, but I just think it looks so, so pretty. So I think I'm going to start off with the Blend Bunny Search Palette actually for some mattes. So I'm going to start with the shade Hint right here, that light green. I'm going to make this super simple and just focus that on the inner half of my crease and then just take a little bit more and bring it across here, but mostly focusing on the inner portion. Kind of want to incorporate some of the green and purple that is going on with the mattes as well, because I just think the color story is so, so cute. Now I'm gonna go into this green right here called Lush. Just picking up a little tiny bit of that and focusing it on the outer V. Just kind of slightly blending it inwards. It does not have to be 
too precise and then just lightly blending into that lighter green just to have a good little gradient going for the lower lash line i'm going to start off with the darker purple this one right here called covet kind of connecting the outer v super pigmented so you only need a little bit wipe that off and i'm going to go into this light purple right here called beckon and just throw that on the inner portion of the lower lash line. I feel like this would just set up the shimmers that we have really, really well. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and start off with Ribbit for my inner corner just because that shade was immediately calling me. I mean, it's honestly just such a pretty color. So just popping that right here. Kind of has that purple and that green going on. So I feel like you can throw that onto the inner corner to kind of get in with those mattes. I bring it on the lower lash line a little bit and honestly it's picking up with a brush really well now i think i want to use this shade right here called fly swatter it just looks super super pretty just grabbing a little bit of that with my finger and popping that on the outer half oh my goodness okay so now for the inner portion of the lid Mm, I don't know. I'm partly tempted to do pond because I think that looks really pretty, but also the shade lily pad is calling to me Hmm, I think I'm gonna go a little bit more green and I'm gonna go with lily pad and just pop it right here I did get just a tiny bit of fallout it looks like from that color, but we'll see if we can wipe it away It's just a little bit right here Okay. Yeah, that's not wanting to wipe away. I guess I would probably recommend using a glitter primer with this palette, but honestly, I think the shimmers look super, super pretty. It's pretty cute for a really quick look. I don't have a ton of time to do my eye makeup today, but I feel like it still did what it needed to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw on the Melt Supernatural Mascara just to get a quick coat. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish up the face really quickly. I'm gonna go back into the Surge palette and I'm gonna take this light pink right here, which is actually called Cheeks, and use that as a blush today. This kind of that baby doll pink kind of shade. Just throw a little bit of that on. Hard for me to even wanna put highlight on right now because I'm sweating so much. I feel like I don't need it. It is so hot today. But I'm, I guess I'll just go ahead and throw on a little bit of the Lethal Highlighter in the shade Ionic because I have it in front of me and it's not too intense. Just add a little bit right here. And then lastly, just going into the Kaja Gloss Shot in the shade Milk Tea. Alright y'all, so this is the final look. I really like the palette so far, honestly. I mean, I think that it is a super cute theme and it does have so many special shadows. I feel like the color selection is so pretty in here. If you like blues, greens, and purples, this is the shimmer palette for you. I feel like it's just gonna go well with so many different matte palettes, and like I said, if you like those colors, these options are stunning, and I think everything was easy to work with. I did get a little bit of fallout, so I'll probably use a glitter primer next time, but honestly, not too bad. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you'd like to see from me next, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye.